name is Stephen. I am a teaching artist with Artists Creating Together, and I started with it in, as an intern with this wonderful organization. I think it was about three years ago now, and I've been a teaching artist for the past couple of years. I work with CTC and also the residency programs. And today, I'm going to introduce to you a very simple and creative art project. You need only two things. Something to write with. It could be a pen or a pencil or a crayon or a marker. Something to write with. And something to write on. Any sort of paper will do. Very, very simple. This is a little art project that I have done with um, my art intensive class that I was teaching this spring. And in my own artwork, I often like to work with things I can't control, with the unknown. I find that working with Things we can't control and working with the unknown brings a large amount of creativity into our artwork. So in this art experience, what we will do, it's very simple. We set the paper in front of us, pen in our hand, and then we simply close our eyes. And after you close your eyes, we will draw a face, keeping our eyes closed the entire time that we are drawing. I personally like to begin with the eyes. So I'm going to draw one eye. Here we go. Now I'm going to draw the next eye and take as much time with this as you want. You can draw quickly or you can draw slowly. As you see, my eyes are still shut. Now I'm going to do a nose. And then, of course, we need ourselves a nice mouth. And then after I do all that, I'm going to draw a head around the eyes and the nose and the mouth, or I'm assuming around, I can't see, so I don't really know. Maybe a couple of ears, cause you know, we need ears. And then maybe some hair of some sorts. All right, I have finished drawing and I've been doing this the entire time, as I hope you have too, with your eyes closed. The beauty of this project is when we open our eyes and look down at what we have drawn, we are often quite surprised by what has emerged. So on the count of three, we will open our eyes and we will look at we, what we have drawn. Are you ready? One, two, three. Surprised? <laughs> I am. Here is what I have drawn. Can you see it? Kind of strange, right? Well, this is the kind of artwork I really like to make. Actually, I often enjoy what I draw much more when I've done it with my eyes closed. And the second part of this project is you continue either with the same thing that you've been drawing with your pen or your pencil or your marker, or you can choose a different drawing instrument. And you begin going over the lines that you've already made and emphasizing and making them darker. So I'm going to go over the ear. I'm going to make it darker. Just make it sort of stick out more. I'm going to go over those eyes. And as you're doing this, feel free to be creative as you want to be. You can make things bigger. We're just emphasizing lines on the face. Over the nose. 
I'm gonna go over the other eye now. And just following the lines. And I'm not trying not to think too much about what I'm doing. I'm just following the lines that I've already made. Now I'm gonna go over that mouth. Here we go, making it darker with my pen. I wouldn't mind an oil pastel with this actually, but I'm gonna stick with the pen for now. Making it darker and darker and darker around the head. Now I'm gonna do this cool hair, going over the hair. Going over the hair now. There we go. As you see, I've made everything a little darker and I've emphasized the lines around the eyes around the entire face. We only have a couple minutes left, but what you can do from this point is if you do have access to crayons, to markers, to oil pastels, even to paint, it could be acrylic or tempera or watercolors, you can take this and you can start adding color to it. Maybe you want to add a body, or maybe you want to put them in a scene, such as uh, some trees behind them or some flowers. This can be just the beginning of your art piece.